Glenn Sayer here from Zebra Technologies. Today, I'm going to go over integration of the EA3600 into Studio 5000. I'll show you what you need to do to get it up and running, a couple of tips, and also a few features along the way. Also, the one I will not be showing you today is any integration into the ladder logic, any of the programming of that. Uh, so let's get going. So I've already started up Studio 5000. I've pre-configured my EA3600 with an IP address that we're going to connect to the scanner in our upper right here. First thing we're going to do is go ahead and add the module. So we'll open up a new module, type Zebra. Uh, this will bring up all the Zebra AOPs that I currently have installed on my system. EA3600 is the one we're going to install for the scanner, but also available is the FX9600 for RFID, Link OS for printers, and STB3574, which is a legacy product uh, that we're not going to cover. So we'll go ahead and add our 3600. Give it a name of EA3600. Give it an IP address that matches our STB3574. Go ahead and say OK. Close out of that. And then what we're going to do is go online to our PLC. Download the project. Go ahead and select Run. At this point, we've added the EA3600. Now we have an input module and an output module. The only thing we need to do now is enable the barcode transfer bit. So once we set this to one, at this point, we're collecting data from the scanner. So let's go ahead and, ahead and have a look at uh, what data coming in looks like. So go into the input section. Currently under data, we have no data. So if I go ahead and scan this barcode, you should see data coming in. Uh, that's all it's needed to set up the scanner initially to get it come in. There's a whole bunch of other feature functionalities that you can do. And now let's show you a couple other features within uh, the product. So one of the things that'll show you, it'll show you the counter type of the number of barcodes I've scanned. So as I continue to scan barcodes here, I'll get a counter update of how many barcodes I've scanned. I also can look at the number of scanners attached. Since this is a wireless system, I can have up to seven scanners attached, but currently I only have one. It gives me some status of the battery also. Uh, it gives me an indication of the length of the barcode. So just some other information you can grab. A better reference of this is the EA3600 program reference guide. I'll give you more data on what you can expect out of this. So a couple other features that we can get into on the product. Go ahead and close out of the data, go back to more of the output section. We also have the ability to start and stop the scanner um, soft, what this we call a soft trigger. So if I hit one, I'll say go ahead and start the trigger. The scanner will stay on until I tell it to go ahead and stop. Uh, the caveat to that is that if I tell it to start, it will stay on. Uh, depending on what my scanner settings on, if I do put a barcode in it, the scanner will go off at that time. There's ways to set the scanner up so it stays on continuously and everything put in front of it, it will scan and return to you. Uh, but that, I'll leave that uh, for a future project. Uh, something if you want to get into more, go look into our one, two, three scan product of how to configure and set up scanners. Another feature functionality that people use is the action code. Uh, what action codes are is it gives you the ability to control the beeper, uh, the LED, on the device. Uh, so these are also found within the EA3600 Network Connect Programmer's Reference Guide. So a good reference to go out and grab these if you want to have an understanding. So let's try a couple of these out. First thing we're going to do is uh, we'll try this low, medium, high beep uh, vibrator setting. So what we'll do is go ahead and set our action code down here to 22. We'll go up and tell our action code to go ahead and pick it up and there it's sent. Uh, keep in mind when you do set the send action code, this is something that you need to keep up for at least 20 milliseconds uh, for the system to pick up. So let's go ahead and try setting uh, the LEDs. Uh, let's try the red here. So 2F and 30 is what we're going to need to turn them on. So we'll just go ahead and set this to 2F. Go back up to our action code. Tell, tell the scanner 1, say there's something to pick up, and there the LED is on. 
To turn it off, all we need to do is go down, do the red light off setting, which is 30. Set our action code again, and it turns the LED on. So that's some feature functionality and how to get the scanner up and running. Uh, very basic stuff, but if you need more information, like I said, go out and grab the EA3600 Network Connect Programs Reference Guide. And visit us at zebra.com for more information. Thanks for watching.